Hello and welcome to this early access look at Mars 2.0, the mission. Thank you so much to Farmer Bob and Superfly who have given me access to the to the file while it's still being tested for release on ModHub. Well, this is the PDF of the map, as you can see. Pretty much, well, not exactly the same as the last one. There's just a lot, lot more going on. So we'll start at the top, and on the PDF I'll just pop around, and then we'll just highlight all the different things that are on there. So there's quite a few oxygen filters along the way, and that's for taking out the carbon monoxide. Debris, debris crusher, the sluice um, and stone processing plant that's for producing enriched materials for utilization in electronics production. Stone quarry shaft, so the stone quarry is at the top on the top level. You drop it in, it drops down to the bottom. And we'll see that as we go along. We'll go and visit all these spots. Deliver to the Mars rocket that is um, via the super super space age train. Fantastic piece of kit. I don't show it a lot on this uh, this preview because we'll see it very much in the next day or so when we start doing a little series on this map. This is the area where all the Animals and some greenhouses are situated. Situated, they are all in biodomes. It's quite a few extra fields compared to the original Mars map. I think this is coming out as an update, although it's pretty much a new map. It, it, the, the the maps are chalk and cheese basically. Another oxygen filter. That's for getting rid of the carbon monoxide as I said. Uh, power plant and that it becomes very very important on this uh, map. Everything needs electricity to work so um, generating electricity is of paramount importance. Grain dryer as you can see by the little thumbnails that come up um, a lot of the buildings are very very much space age Fuel refinery depot, um, that's for making diesel. You can buy diesel on the map, but it's very expensive. Um, and there's various ways to make diesel. We'll go through that as we go around and take a look at each each um, production separately. This is your export to Earth, and that's on the top level. So um, same level as the, as the mine. Right, now we move on down to what I suppose is called the shop area, a biodome with spinnery, bale sales, the vehicle repairs shop. And all this is in one, and of course the anim animal dealer, as well as the shop, all in one biodome. This is where you delivered to the Mars rocket, that's the train again. Then we move on to another um, oxygen filter. Fuel depot, as I said you can buy fuel on the on the map but it is quite expensive. And that's the train station where you load the train some nice storage there as well. We rent the train. And that's a sawmill just above the, from the train station. And the electronics manufacturing plant. That's where you make all the electrical components. And we're back to the oxygen filter that we saw at the beginning. Now we go into the center of the map, and this is where you stay since so your home is the all-in-one underground facility. And then we go on to the grain mill, 
should be coming up there now and then uh, some production spinnery the oil mill these are all very very good looking space age buildings fantastically crafted by uh, superfly and that's sort of the production housing area and that's pretty much it um, you do own the whole map um, you can sell off the pieces of land but that would defeat the object of the mission but yeah so you don't have to purchase any um, of the fields to start with which is pretty good because that gives you you start with a hundred thousand on new farmer mode so right so we're back to where we landed just outside the train station you can see the shadow of the big crane there's a big crane in the center of the map we'll just fly up and then just pan around give you a panoramic view of the of the whole area as you can see the whole the whole farming area is enclosed in one big biodome with smaller biodomes within that facility this is the train station and the buildings on this map were just fantastic really really give it that sci-fi feeling which is where, what this map is going for really it's not I suppose going to be for the purist but the fundamentals are pretty much the same I will be doing a little mini series on this map starting from sometime during the course of this next week basically two levels you've got the upper level which is very thin which has got the mine on it it's got the field and export to um, to earth on it this is a early access map so that some of these features may change I don't think there will be a huge amount of change but there may be bits and pieces that are required to be changed to get it through Giants testing there we go you can just quickly see the scoreboard just to give you an idea of where we're starting now I have speeded up the travel between between areas just because otherwise this would be hour long hours long <laughs> um, video so this is the sawmill the functions work exactly the same as uh, in normal for the most part of course This is a oxygen filter, I think. We'll soon find out. The nice thing is you do own most of the stuff on here, so you didn't have to buy it to go and check it out. There we go. So, yeah, oxygen filters. So they require electrical charge and carbon monoxide, of course and then that gives you an output of zero carbon monoxide so basically you taking the carbon monoxide out of the system very nice touch and there's quite a few of these dotted around so you don't have to go too far to get to one of those of course one of the things that you need to do is you do need to produce uh, electricity it becomes quite vital the production of electricity right here we come to the I suppose you call it the stone processing area. So this is a stone shaft that leads up to the to the quarry. So you've got the quarry at the top. I'll show you a little bit later how you get up to the quarry. The stone, there is stone in there, just not rendering because we're flying at the moment well not rendering in great masses but it is it is vast we'll show you to speed it up a little bit so you've got all that there and it goes all the way back down to pretty much where that water tower is so 
So it'll, it'll certainly keep this operation going for a while. There we go, back to there. And you just dump the stone down there and then you collect it down at the bottom. And then you can feed it into the stone processing plant and the sluice. Another very well made model. I don't know whether you've noticed the Space Age lights as well. Lighting, the street lighting. Right, let's get back into the tractor and we'll just drive around. So straight ahead is where you collect the stone. This is just another um, place to um, to summon the train. I'm not quite sure where the train stops here. It's actually a little bit further back there, so we'll find that out when we do the series, exactly how that works. Some lime at the top left hand side there with the loader. And this is the sluice. So once you've um, processed the stones, you'll get dep depleted marsh Martian stone. I'll show you that in the next, the next, the, the next building we go to, which is water and again electrical charge. So electrical charge, as we go around, you'll see we, how important that becomes. So my feeling is when you start a series, is that's one of the first things you've got to get up and going. You can buy canisters of electric charge, relatively inexpensive. Um, I think it's about 5,000 for 200 litres. This is a deb debris crusher, I suppose, if you want to get um, lime. So you can do that from the stone, of course, that you mine it from the quarry. Right, and then this is the stone processing. Just a nice, interesting texture there. So this is uh, stone in and uh, depleted stone, methane, liquid oxygen and carbon monoxide out. And the very nice thing is you have an overdrive for most productions, which um, if you add electricity to it, gives you a much bigger and quicker production cycle. So a lot of the production uh, buildings have that. So there we go there. So 2,500 log plus electricity, and that gives you a lot more of each of each of the outgoing products. So that, of course, then gets taken to the to the sluice, and then made into um, into the depleted Martian stone. I think it's called. It's just a bit of a storage area garage whatever you want to use it for there's a couple of these dotted around the map as well it's always nice to have especially if you keep equipment down here specifically for that operation you don't have to be running back to the garages all the time I'm not exactly sure because I didn't bring a trailer out what that is for but it could be um, a sale point for different materials. I'll check that out once we get into a into a series. There's some sort of storage facility that you could load up and buy from. I would, I would think this is just decorative, decorative. Let's go back and get the tractor, and we'll move on to the next little section, which is which we were almost there already <laughs> um, and that uh, will be the the other biodomes that we have on the map mainly for animals but there are also a few fields in here and some greenhouses so this is a Storage point for bales. And then, as you saw when we drove the track in, it's quite easy to get fairly big vehicles in here. Uh, room for 500 cows. 
Ross. And there's um, where you feed them. It's also got auto feed, um, which is over there. We'll take a drive past that after we've gone through the whole thing and just show it to you. That just works with a normal auto feed system. Which is fantastic. It's very good. Here we go into. Let's have a look and see what this one is. Pigs. Another 500 pigs there. And then this one with, with grass in it already is for sheep. Houses 500 sheep. All in these uh, biodomes. So if we. The integrity of the outer dome is uh, compromised. Um, there's still the ability to live within these biodomes. Of course you would have to suit up to move between the others if the, if the outer dome is compromised. Bale and pellet storage again. Once we get into these, um, into the mini series, we will um, we'll see over over the series how all of these work in more depth. Of course, it's going to be the. Although we will start be working towards the mission, I don't know if we're about to complete the mission before FS25 comes out, but um, yeah, we will see. So here it's got some more more sheep, so you've got two enclosures of 500 sheep each. And this is potatoes. So that's going to be interesting to see. Though you will be able to drive tractors in here, um, the potato harvesting equipment we'll have to have a look at, see how that, how that fits in there. And that is... Uh, Pigs, it's another pig sty. So it's a total of a thousand pigs that you can have on the farm. Of course, um, as you may have noticed, that you can either drive. Well, let's quickly go and have a look. Yeah, it gets in there quite easy. Just uh, the maneuvering of some of the potato harvesting equipment might be a bit tight, but. We'll find out when we do our series. So you can actually drive out and then drive around into the next uh, entrance, or as you saw in the last one, you can use these uh, internal corridors if the outside has to be sealed. There we go, we've got the greenhouses with uh, Growing some vegetables, some salad leaves, etc. Tomatoes, lettuce, and strawberries. Just normal water in. So, standard uh, greenhouses. Fantastic. The water in over there. So, you'd be able to. Uh, grow potatoes, salads, and of course you would have all the, we'd have access to milk and meat and that type of stuff, should something be con. Of course chickens as well, nice big chicken coop. We'll just have a quick trip around the, the back of the, there's the milk. Oops, a little wrong turn there. Right, and here we come to a storage facility. This is another oxygen filter. And over here we've got um, a multi fruit storage facility. Very 
very nice so this is in addition to the storage facilities that you have at the station so I suppose the idea is that that is for use in the on Mars and the facility at the station is for loading the train to be exported to Earth so this is the power plant so this is where you're going to be spending a lot of time that's where your inputs go in and if you just jump out here this is where you get your electricity and your electricity is um, transported uh, in tankers so normal water tankers which have been converted to carry electric charge and yeah a little bit difficult to find at first glance the the office but uh, yeah so manure to electricity methane to electricity diesel wood chips hay and straw I'm guessing straw is where you would start because it's, as we've been driving around, I don't know if you've noticed, but there's a lot of crop in the fields. So a lot of that, I presume, would be crops that you're able to get straw from. So that's where I would start. First thing, start harvesting those, get the straw, start getting your electricity being produced. Just go around the back. Just quick stop to show you that that is an oxygen filter. And then we've got the grain drying facility. Once again, a fantastic modeling of the grain drying facility done by Superfly. Once again, thanks very much to Superfly and Farm Above for giving me early access to this map. Really, really like it for something different. Because we've got all the Martian traffic going around. Fantastic sounds. This is a fuel refinery. As I said, you can make your own fuel. It's probably advisable to make your own fuel. Um, so you can convert methane to diesel, diesel to methane. You can get water from stone, um, biodiesel of course from from plants and then you've got the overdrive as well so where you can produce a lot more with the addition of electricity and water in this case. So that's from methane, diesel to methane and the different. I would think that the most efficient way we'd be doing it, of course, would be doing biodiesel. Fantastic. Once again, nice looking model of the building. Brilliant. There's a lot of work gone into the this upgrade, but essentially a new, new map. I don't know whether they're going to release it as a new map or not. Right, let's have a quick look at this facility. Now it is the office area is on the top of the facility, so you do need to go up the stairs and there it is there. So this is where we it's our smelting plant so we produce the enriched magnesium carbon carbon monoxide produced of course uh, titanium alloys and glass and that all a lot of that goes into the electronics manufacturing plant.
that's sort of um, well I suppose it's a another production area but very important production area there's quite a bit of traffic going around the place all these space age vehicles where you can hear the noise of the vehicles fantastic just having a look to see if there's anything behind there no. right well let's get on back and move on to the top level then we'll come back down and go through the shop area after that oops busy looking at the shop area instead of looking at where I'm going so if you go up through this gantry it'll take you to the top area I didn't read what was on there we have to check that out on me on the series yeah not concentrating again quite a steep hill going up here the little Massey Ferguson is uh, is feeling the, the incline still going up okay though um, but I think it might struggle to pull, pull some vehicles up here or pull some product up here so we'll try not to do that too much <laughs> so as we get to the top if you go to the left if you follow the track down to the left it'll take you all the way down to the mine or to the quarry should I say so if you would need to get to well you will need to get some some equipment up here to start mining in the quarry so if you go left there we've gone slightly right it'll take you down to the quarry so if you go right here as you see we've got a nice big field up here which I know wasn't on the original map but uh, the nice thing about this top area is that there's lots of nooks and crannies that you can put fields into and such like and build productions or whatever you want to do another nice feature up top here is that you've got two underground storage uh, garage storage so you can bring vehicles up here because of that hill you can leave them up here to work the top area there's two garage and under, underground garages here so that'll store well at least four vehicles trailers and such like fantastic brilliant space age mods I don't know whether I've mentioned but the, the map's probably not going to be for everybody but I like it because it's so much so different I like it because it's got a completely different theme to it and it just allows you to vary your gameplay substantially mm -hmm. just take a quick nip on down to the shopping biodome is what I'm going to call it so this is where the main store is lovely big entrance so you should be able to drive vehicles in and out of here without a problem there's a couple of little different um, well there's a, a spinnery in here as well So this is where the shop is now the map that I'm using the um, spawning area for the vehicles is outside the this dome area I do suspect that um, it, that will change and come closer to this area but we'll have to see as the map progresses so this is spinning is one of the vehicle one of the productions that you need to buy but as we saw earlier on, there is another spinnery near the home area and we'll have to check up to see whether we own that already. So outside of here, we own a lot of the stuff. Well, certainly a lot of the fields. Not sure about the productions, but we'll find out. So this is the animal dealer and it delivers directly to the animal biodomes. So that's quite handy and then if we go on down here 
I haven't che I didn't check to see whether you could add any other productions in here. I'm sure you probably can. But we'll check that out when we're doing our our series. So this is the it says the dealer, but it's actually the workshop. So you can repair and repaint in there. There's some nice storage for um, for pallets, pallet storage. So you can take a hundred pallets, so you can store some pallets of food in there if you want to take your roll pay a little bit further. If there's any possible problems, so your bail bail sales. And a lot of space in the inside there, and that's why I thought possibly the in the at the end of the the well the end map will most probably you must probably be picking up your vehicles inside here. I don't know if there's some vehicles that might be too high to come out of here, but uh, I'm not sure. But I'm sure the spawning area will be relatively close to here. As it is, it's not a million miles away. It's outside and uh, as we're looking at a bit to the right plenty of fields that already do have crops in them so you may have noticed as we've been driving around let's move on to the next little section so this looks like a these look like they are just decorative and then we've got some fuel storage there where you can st store your your fuel and and then of course that was that we've just passed there was the trains train station where we started so that's we've pretty much gone around the outer ring we'll now go oh straight through the field there and find our yeah we go our living quarters We're now in the center of the map. Now I do have a um, pretty detailed review of the underground facility on my channel. Go back and check that if you want to see this facility in detail. There are two. There was one done bef um, originally and then one after a fairly sizable update. And this is this area down the side here is where you is a vehicle workshop basically. You can also store vehicles there as well. So you can repair your vehicles from the inside of the, of the comfort of your home. So as long as you're quite close to there you can use your handprint to get in. There we go. This is where you, well, the loading base for your vehicles. We just dumped down to the bottom. Here, as I said, we've got a detailed description of this uh, of this uh, on my channel. Brilliant to go and have a check if you want to go and check that out. We can repair our vehicles down there as we go back up the. Stairs, that's the level two, and this is your living area, your wardrobe, sleep trigger. So I'm going through this quite quickly because, uh, as I didn't mention, we've many times <laughs> already shamefully plugging my other videos and then back out. Another one of Superfly's 
mods, fantastic. Superfly has done a lot of the of the um, blender work, you would call it, of the of the modding of the buildings, etc. And Farmer Bob, of course, is a guru on map building. So a really good joint venture between the two of them. So this is our main vehicle storage area. Just going to get those all out. They have a vehicle in pretty much every one of them. There's trailers there. Just call this one up. There's quite a quite a quite a lot of the activity is in the center of the map in terms of where you live, storage, there's quite a few production facilities. I did find when I was first looking around, it takes a little while to orientate yourself, but basically it's fields with a whole, a whole lot of uh, production, sale points, etc, etc around the outside of the fields. And then in the center of the fields you have your living quarters, grain mill and some production units. And of course your vehicle garages. Another two tractors there. And some more equipment, a sprayer. I think at the bottom we've got our harvester. So this is a lot of the starting vehicles that you have on your on new farmer mode couple parked outside more hardy stuff it's probably a time it's time to have a look and see what we do start with so we start with three tractors Fent, a Massey and a John Deere all medium tractors 250 horsepower one 175 horsepower so not a huge amount of power in the tractors but the fields are not super huge we've got the the Max Superliner, 500 horsepower. Um, I'll talk about that a little bit later when we get to the map mod. Mods um, harvester, fairly small, but as I said again, not a really big field. Got the Mahindra run around. Trailers. Got plenty of trailers, and then you've got the small trailer, which you'll notice can take electric charge pretty much takes all the liquid type of um, of product that we can produce. It's the uh, header, corn header, got a stone picker. We don't want to sell it. <laughs> So it can of course go into the debris, the debris crusher or directly into the stone processing facility. Plow. Decent plow, but. And cultivator. Cultivator also looks a bit too big for the, for the tractors that we have. So we'll have to check that out when we get into the series to see whether the tractors can actually handle the equipment. It did look like they were, were a little bit underpowered for the plough, the cultivator. I didn't check the seed and the planters, but we'll have a look at that. They might, they might have been. So this is the Mars emission mods. So basically, the mods are, yeah, are really about increasing capacity and in the case of the Mac truck increase in power up to 950 horsepower you can get which will be useful particularly if you're going up and down the hill between the levels and the trailers basically um, to accommodate any of the new equipment and the bulk trailers 
uh, the tankers to um, enable you to transport electricity. And this is the battery that I was talking about uh, that you are able to buy to uh, you are able to buy electricity 200 litre units 5,000 pounds each the nice thing is you can customize these change the colors make them look as retro and as funky as you want to fantastic really good lots of options You may need to use these in the beginning when you're trying to get your electricity reserves up. And of course that uh, kind of fits in with the theme. These are things that you have to produce if you're on this sort of type of Mars mission. You have to produce your fuel, you have to be able to have, have a way to produce your food and your electricity and your power etc. As I said, the trailers are basically about accommodating all the all the products that are available, but and the, um, the new types of uh, Mars rock and such like. So you definitely will have to when you're looking to transport. Things like depleted uranium and that type of stuff, you're going to have to look at utilizing the specialized trailers and tankers. So that's basically the equipment that you start with. And a quick look at the mod specific to this man. And yeah, we'll see all the production units remodeled to look nice and Mars-like as such. Bread Mars, some f nice names to them as well. So we do own these facilities, so that's good. So at this stage, the only facility that we need to buy is the spinnery in the shop area. But we do have a spinnery here as well. I do think it's producing raisins so if you want to grow grapes that might be quite nice to be able to produce some fruit juices Astro crop oils there we go lovely names to these this is your oil plant which you do own already so you can produce all the normal standard oil crops cosmic yarns so you do own a spinnery, so the spinnery in the shop area is really not necessary. Well, if you want to in in increase production or so. But we'll check out when we do the series whether we can... I'm sure we can add these, um, these production units. There's a couple of these little spouting fountains. Not quite sure what they're pushing out there might be all the carbon monoxide that we have to get out. More than, more than likely it'll be a sulfur type thing, but uh, yeah, just nice little touch. So, fertilizer, solid fertilizer buying point, and storage point, it's liquid fertilizer. So you can buy f liquid fertilizer here. It's just liquid fertilizer, nothing else. It's the same with the solid fertilizer. And then we've got uh, another two buying points here for seed. I'm going to think you can buy seed here and mineral feed. We've got two of these with this one here and this one here. I think this is also seed and mineral feed. Not sure why we need to have two there. That might change. And this is the 
grain mill, I think. Yep, that's the grain mill. Nice big. And that's pretty much it. There's probably something I forgot to look at. But we'll definitely be covering a lot of those things in our series. So, well, I think that's where we're going to end this little map tour. If you've enjoyed it, please do like and subscribe. And we'll catch you when the series starts again. Thank you so much for watching. And cheerio.